you ever notice that your Android device has a developer option feature hidden somewhere? There are many things you can do on your Android but there are more you can do when you have this option enabled. From speeding up your device by turning any missions off to obtaining higher quality rendering for a good gameplay. There are plenty of features you can enable from the Android developer options section. Not, this is not for everyone. Some of you may not want to change anything in fear of messing up your mobile device. Not to worry, just backpack and change the setting back. For some phones, you can enable developer options. You can enable developer options by going to settings and then in about. Go to settings and just go on about phone and tap build number 7 times and your developer option will be enabled. It's already saying that no need you are already a developer, it means I've already activated my developer option. Now let's head to the some tricks of developer options. The first in the list is that you can enable and disable USB debugging. You probably already noticed that most Android related tools on your PC will require you to enable USB debugging for the tool to run properly. That because without it enabled, the tools cannot establish a connection between a device and your desktop. To enable USB debugging, you need to go to settings and then go to developer options and then and then you have to go on USB debugging options. Click on USB debugging option and enable it and click on OK, it will automatically enable. The next in the list is that you can create a desktop backup password. Before you cre create a desktop backup password, Android tools on your desktop, you can first create a password. To where put protection on your backup from being accessed easily, head to settings and then go you have to go to developer options and then you have to click on desktop backup password enter your current password and then type and retype new password for full backup your your data and your android data will be fully automatically backup the third in the list is that you can tweak animation setting when you transitions from your screen to screen on your android device you will notice that there is animation added in between you can choose to speed up these animations or turn it off entirely. The lower the number you choose, the faster the animation will be. Go to settings. Go to settings and then you have to go to developer option. Scroll down and look for window animation scales, transition anim animation scales. And you will see like this. I have already selected animation scale 1x. Adjust the scale for the animation you want. The greater the number, the slower the animation. It means if you greater the number animation will if you slow off your animation it will be automatically disabled. The fourth in the list is that you can enable MSAA for OpenGL games. If you like to play games on your Android device and you are playing it using high-end Android devices, you might want to force enable MSAA to obtain a higher higher quality rendering of your gaming graphics. This feature is turned off in some games by default because it can drain your device battery rather than quickly. To enable FXAA, head to settings and then you need to go to developer options again and then tap on force 4x MSAA. Hold down and you will see for CPU rendering. Yeah, here is the option of OpenGL games which will support high rendered games. The fifth in the list is that you can allow mock locations in your developer options. To be able to fake your current GPS location you need an app. Sometimes an app requires a mock location which you want to mock them. But to use that app you will need to first allow mock location for the app to work. Enable mock location in two steps. First of all go to settings and then again head to developer options and then you have to look for allow mock option and then enable it it will automatically automatically allow your mock automatically lock mock your locations and and the app will think that you are using this from united states on somewhere and somewhere the sixth in the list is that stay awake while charging when you charge your phone the screen of the device will automatically turn off if for some reasons you want to stay awake you can do it with these two steps first of all go to settings and then head to developer options and then you have to tap on the stay awake tap on stay awake it will automatically never sleep while charging the seventh in the list is that the display cpu usage overlay 
need to keep an eye on the CPU usage of your device. There is a way to get an overlay to show the processes that are currently being used by a CPU. To display CPU usage, follow the tips below. Head to settings and then click on developer options and tick on CPU usage. Scroll down and you will see something like CPU usage option. Here is it and you will see a CPU usage here in the front of the screen in the right light. Disable it by clicking both and it will automatically disable. The eighth in the list is that don't keep active app activities. Your Android app activities are still intact even after you've exited from your apps. Most of your apps rely on a local catchy data on Android so that they can load faster and will not face any force close movements. You will see many of the many of the apps showing force close when you automatically open the, those apps. However, there may be apps that are use a lot of activities. You can choose to not keep these activities with these apps. Go to settings and then click on again developer options and it will automatically go to don't keep activities options and tick on it. Don't go to scroll down and go to don't keep activities and then you have to tick on it. Here is the option destroy every activity as soon as the user leaves it. Click on it and it will automatically destroy every activity when your user something use a data. The ninth in the list is that you can enable wireless display certificate. This option is only useful if you own a Microsoft ready display or something else of similar technology. To transmit your Android content to a TV to watch YouTube videos on your Microsoft ready display, you will need to enable wireless display certificate. To do that, Follow the step below, go to settings and uh, head out to developer options and then you have to look for wireless display certificate. Look for wireless display certificate and you have to tick on it. Scroll down and you will see a wireless display certificate and tick on it. So guys this is the 9 hidden features you can find in Android developer option. I hope you like it and thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you are new to our channel. Hit like button, thank you.